YouTube drama, 14 skydivers forced to make an emergency landing at St Kilda Beach. A freak summer storm brings down trees and cuts power in the southeast. A woman arrested after falling from a factory during a million dollar drug raid. An exploding hot water system blasts a Frankston house. And Melbourne Council wages war on a rat infested CBD. This is Nine News with Peter Hitchner. Good evening. 14 skydivers are lucky to be alive after being forced to make an emergency landing at St Kilda Beach. A freak summer storm brought them crashing down before locals leapt in the water to rescue them. Live to Seb Costello at the Sea Baths. Seb, take us through what happened. Well, Pete, Ambulance Victoria tell us there are now five people in hospital as a result of this emergency around 3 p.m. today. Pete, there were 14 skydivers, as you mentioned. They were jumping from around 14,000 feet in seven pairs. And then a quick weather change came in, which dramatically altered the afternoon for those involved. You can see in the pictures the heavy wind and the squall causing the parachutes to move and flip in different directions. And that's when the instructors made the decision to emergency land here on the beach. At least four of the pairs ended up in the water, one on the sand and a number in parkland not too far from here. But Pete, you can see the violence with which this weather came in. We're told it was a 52 knot wind that came up in less than two minutes. And you can imagine the horror of the onlookers as they watched on from the beachside. They're landing everywhere, they're landing everywhere. Hello, hello, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Oh my god, look at that. One of the skydivers actually lost consciousness as he slammed into the water. So witnesses have told us as his parachute started to drag him beneath the surface, at least one lifeguard from the nearby St Kilda Sea Baths gym and a number of beachgoers ran into the water to try and keep this man above the surface. You can see in some of these pictures this man being treated inside the St Kilda Sea Baths. That's where he was taken because of the medical equipment that is available there and Pete when you consider the weather that had sprung up the large raindrops falling on the bay during this rescue it took everything the individuals had just to keep this man's head above water and drag him to the safety of the baths. I look up in the air there's about five or six skydivers pretty much barreling down to the ground they were out of control the storm was going there was rain hail you name it. As soon as we seen him we just threw our stuff on the floor and went in. We held him till the car came but any longer, any deeper out, if we had to swim back, we would have struggled. You couldn't see there was rain pelting out here, it was windy. People were trying to run in and one guy ran in and fell over, it was that windy. Pete, we have spoken to the company this afternoon. They say that the skydivers had left the plane before the weather incident sprang up. They're obviously investigating how they can learn from this afternoon's incident. Okay, thank you, Seb. That spectacular thunderstorm 